Hello guys. I am cruising and my camera is outside my window and it's about to storm. It's lightning. Hope you've had a great and fantastic Friday. All right guys, so today I've worked a lot so I haven't really had a chance to vlog. So I am going to do what's in, uh, do a what's in my bag video for you guys right now. All right guys, I recorded this whole entire thing out of focus and I need to try to lay down and get some sleep. So we're gonna get this done really quick. Now everything that I have out here on the table is basically exactly what I use whenever I'm making any video, whether it goes for a client, for family stuff, and or for my vlogs. So you'll be able to use everything that I'm talking about here today to actually make a banging ass video. Bomb, big, fire, lit, Whatever you want to say, whatever terms you want to use, you'll be able to use it, this stuff, to make banging ass videos. All right, so let's get right into it. So I want to talk about like the things that not mo many people actually talk about whenever it comes to making really good videos. And the first thing is the computer. That's the first thing you need to have. Now mine looks like it's made out of solid gold because I wrapped it in gold vinyl. It's a MacBook and I love it. Number two, external hard drives. Right now I have in my hand one, two, three, four hard drives. I carry them and I take them everywhere I go. Now these aren't the only ones. I have probably about 10 external hard drives, specifically because they fill up really quick whenever I'm putting raw images and high definition video all on these hard drives. I use external hard drives because the hard drives that are in computers actually fail a whole lot faster because there's a lot of other things running on those hard drives, which cause them to fail. Whenever you're running specific data on these, their lifespan is significantly longer. So these are always safer whenever it comes to putting your projects on them and making sure that you don't lose very vital information. The next thing, are these guys. These are SD cards or CF cards. CF cards, SD cards are smaller and they go into uh, the 60D and other D series uh, cameras as well as marks. And so do the CF cards. The CF cards go all into the mark series, the uh, 1DX series and other larger size uh, DSLR cameras. Now, let's go into something else that a lot of people don't talk about. Because in my opinion, what really can make or break a video is the sound equipment. Right now, I'm actually mic'd up, meaning that I have on a microphone right here on my lapel. So, lavalier mics, which I have two lavalier mics, and my lavalier mics are wired, meaning that I have a cord running all the way to the camera right now while I'm talking, so that the audio is nice and clear. The next thing, the next thing that you can get is a shotgun mic. And I use this microphone for all the vlogs that you're hearing. This is the microphone that I'm using. This microphone is the Rode Video Mic, R-O-D-E Video Mic. And I use it for everything. Like I said, I record podcasts on that. I actually record all of my voiceover parts in my vlogs with that microphone and all i do is i plug it into an external usb microphone sound card that goes directly into my computer i record the audio it's so clean and it's so crisp i love that mic now that's all that goes into the audio parts the next thing i'm going to talk about is this tripod a lot of people actually know about joby j-o-b-y uh, the tripod company because of Casey Neistat and other vloggers out there that actually use this tripod religiously for everything. If you buy it and it's straight out of the box, it's a really great tripod. But after you've used it for a couple of weeks, this tripod can start to suck and it can put your camera at risk uh, because it doesn't stand up after a while. Simply because the balls on it actually kind of like pop and break because it's made out of plastic. Now the metal one, I'm pretty sure that metal one doesn't wear and tear 
the way that this one does but this one i wouldn't recommend buying this one if you're gonna get a joby tripod go ahead and get the big one the large one the most expensive one and it'll probably last a whole lot longer than this one now let's go ahead and get into the cameras the camera bodies and the lenses now i have two 60ds and one 70 and i use this stock lens the 18 to 135 stock lens with the rim of 76 millimeters to actually record all of my vlogs because it's super extremely wide i get a lot in the shot while holding the camera right in front of me this next lens on the 60d body is actually the canon 50 millimeter lens 1.8 Everybody in the photo and video world call it the nifty 50 because of its ability to capture images and video with extreme bokeh and it's least ex and it's probably one of the least expensive lenses on the Canon market and you just get some really cool and great images using this particular lens. Now this last camera setup that I have here is a 7D and the Tamron 28 to 75 millimeter uh, 2.8. Now you can get some really cool depth of feel with this particular lens because of its uh, aperture's ability to go down to 2.8 and it allows a lot of light in as well. So it's a really good lens. I really like it specifically because it's wide and the uh, aperture actually goes down so super low like super super shallow it's a really nice lens I, I got it as a gift actually um, and I use it pretty much for everything for all of my stills and especially whenever I'm trying to like record some extreme detail extremely detailed video uh, because of everything that comes out of this lens is extremely crisp the lens that I'm using right now actually is the stock lens that comes with this XS. It's the uh, Canon 18 to 55 millimeter lens. And I'm telling you that because I want everybody out there to watch this video and know that you don't have to spend an extremely large amount of money to make films and to make vlogs and to make your videos. You need a camera and light those are the only two things that you really need to tell a captivating story and if you want to push the boundaries find a way to get a decent microphone and there you go it's the trilogy the, the, the not the trilogy but the trinity the trinity of actually creating content light a camera and a mic light mic camera light mic camera those things and you're good don't allow yourself to be tricked into thinking and believing that you need that expensive as camera that expensive as lens to create some really great content there are so many influencers and so many youtubers out there making it big doing crap with gopros their camera phone and making really great content using those lenses sometimes their images are even muddy or or like really really like messed up blurry pixelated guys just don't be tricked into thinking that you can't do it because you don't have the budget for it now i will say that if you spend a little extra money yeah your quality will go up but that doesn't mean that your content level is going to go up that takes time that takes practice so i would suggest just start out with something basic get something like a 60d and if you like it stick with it i'm just gonna go out and say it lesson of the day don't let someone else tell you that you need something in order to do something when you have at least that one little thing that you need to go ahead and start go ahead and start because one step forward is significantly better than no steps taken at all now it's time to edit this, and I will see you guys back here on Sunday. Regularly scheduled. I can't talk right now. I'm so tired. As usual, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of Frank on TV. Hey, you know what? In the comment section, make sure that you comment and tell me what you're using in your vlogs. 
whether it be a point and shoot a dslr or if you're even using your camera phone it doesn't matter i hope you guys have a great and fantastic rest of the weekend and i'll see you back here on sunday